There are several things out there that we can't fully explain. Things that will usually leave us creeped out, scratching our heads and thinking, what the hell was it that I just saw? Now most of the times, these strange encounters have an explanation, it's just an illusion, a misunderstanding or something like that. However, sometimes they aren't. Sometimes it's really something else. Hi, I'm James Lefer and you're watching the Impossible Channel, welcome aboard. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. Today we're going to be taking a look at unexplained and strange encounters with cryptids, paranormal investigations, sightings and things of sort. Are you guys ready? Well, let's go. In the past few years, we have been having strange things going on above the clouds. It all started, I guess, in 2019 or 2020 when in Spain, a woman captured strange lights inside one of the clouds just in front of her apartment. When the video was aired on Facebook and many other social media, it immediately went viral. People started looking for an explanation for it and, well, the most plausible explanation is that these lights that they were seeing were actually coming from some sort of event, like a party or something like that, on the ground. However, if you take a look at the video, it really looks as if this light or whatever this thing is, is shining from within the cloud and there doesn't seem to be any source of light coming from the ground. So whatever is going on here, it still remains a mystery. Now in the following months, very similar events happened all over the world, and people were baffled. What the heck is going on here? Is this some sort of atmospheric phenomena or something else? I've never seen anything like that. And well, thanks to the fact that almost everyone has a camera nowadays, there were dozens of these kind of videos being uploaded to the internet every week. And most recently, in China, there was something even more baffling that people were able to capture on camera, and this is what happened. People were stunned by what they were seeing. What appears to be a ring-like object seems to be shining from above the clouds. Now, at first, when I watched this video, I thought it was some sort of light projection coming from the ground, but if you observe the three different takes coming from different people, there doesn't seem to be any light source coming from the ground, like there usually would, in case this was some sort of searchlight, a celebration, or anything of sort. Now, what caught my attention is that this ring of light doesn't seem to be perfectly round. It seems to have imperfections. Not only that, it seems like its source of light is shining from behind the clouds. So, I'm not too sure what's going on here. In your opinion, what is this? Could it simply be some sort of light projection coming from a place nearby, or is it maybe something else? In the past couple of years, I have been seeing several videos of paranormal investigators, urban exploration, and things of sort. Okay, so the noise is my turtle. And I'm home alone, right? But... The 
the reflection shows. It's been trending somewhat, and it's very interesting to see exactly the kind of thing that triggers human curiosity. A person will literally go out alone and investigate a dark and mysterious place just to find out if there's some sort of paranormal activity or something like that. And to be honest, I think I would do it too. The thing is, it's not very intelligent to do it all alone late at night. And it sort of will happen on November 2020 when Gabriel Navarro decided to explore an abandoned school in a small town in Mexico. The school in question is Benito Juarez, which was built on December 1954 and very little is known about this place. What is known is that not long after it was built, it was abandoned. What's peculiar about this school is that it was built literally in the middle of nowhere in a rural area. And it is sad that when you get there, you feel something strange as if there was something watching you. That night, Gabriel brought with him a good flashlight and a camera. And this is what happened. ¿Qué onda, Raza? Pues aquí voy rumbo para la escuela del Barrancón, aquí en Guadalajuices. Es que vine a investigar yo solo. Son las 12.38. Ah, sí, no, no hay nadie, no hay nadie. Esta es la, la escuela que tanto les decía. Ay, voy a escuchar. Y por allá hay una novia. Ah, está mal. A ver, un poco bien. Ahí está esta madre. Aquí hay una. Just moments after arriving at the school, you can feel that Gabriel is a bit nervous. He pans the camera over to the dark woods that surrounds this place just to make sure that there's nothing there. This is when he tries to break in into one of the classrooms that seems to be locked. Some internet users left comments saying that they saw something in that upper window, but I don't see anything. This is when Gabriel decides to explore the place a bit more, and things start to get eerie. Check this out. Pues ya vieron, güey. Puro pinche pedo, no hay ni madres a la ver. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, no mames. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es? ¿Qué le había preguntado, güey? Now legit scared and aware that he's probably not alone, Gabriel gets up, heads towards the door and in a very brave move he goes outside. 
Now in this case, I bet that Gabrielle thought it was a person pranking him and to be honest, I thought it was too. This is until he hears something coming from behind him. Inside the woods, he turns around, pans the camera over and captures a glimpse of what appears to be some sort of creature lurking back at him. Uncertain about what exactly it is that he's dealing with, he runs for his life. Gabriel posted this video to Facebook and amassed thousands of views and hundreds of comments. Internet users were divided if this is indeed fake or if it's the real deal. The thing is, if you look at Gabriel's profile, it doesn't seem like he's into paranormal or things of sort. This is indeed his only video of such explorations, meaning that he's probably not looking for views or something like that. Not only that, when he's inside the classroom, it seems to me at least that he's legit scared. He is in complete panic. Either this guy is the best actor out there, or this is the real deal. But I'm gonna leave this up to you. What do you think is really going on here, and what is this creature that he captured behind one of the walls? Is it someone pranking him, or is it something else? On January 2012, in a city called Curitiba in Brazil, Marcelo Lex was trying to get to sleep, it was late at night, and he heard strange sounds coming from just outside his home. At first, he thought it was a big storm coming, and maybe that's what it sounded like at first. When he got outside, he realized it was something else. It was, in his opinion, something unexplainable. He did what anyone would do, he ran inside, he caught his camera, and he started recording it. Now I've tried contacting Marcelo and I've tried researching what was happening in this city at the time and I didn't find much of an answer but I'm pretty sure that this doesn't sound like a construction site or something like that. There is a strange phenomenon that experts are researching into and they call it a skyquake. Now a skyquake is a mysterious sound that originates from the sky and sounds like an earthquake and can sometimes be confused by a sonic boom or a cannon fire. And if you actually search into skyquakes, you'll find a number of videos that portray such a mysterious sound. Whatever is going on, to this day it remains a mystery. Have you ever heard anything like this? And in your opinion, what could it be? Now I'm pretty sure that being a police officer or fireman, these are very honorable jobs, helping the community and all. But I'm pretty sure it's stressful and sometimes strange and unexplained things can occur. And I guess that because most policemen nowadays have cameras attached to them, it's most likely that at some point, a strange and unexplained video will surface the internet. And this is sort of what happened a couple of months ago when a YouTube channel by the name of Smashing Labu published a video, a very strange video. Check this out. I don't think I see shit here, dude. No? She's not here. Hmm, what base, though? No. Officer, I need a base. Yeah, there's uh, still no sign of the missing girl out here. Uh, you know, we'll keep looking. I don't know. Base, I think I got something. Hi, little girl. Hi. What's your name? Eva. Eva? Yeah. Officer, I need a base. Uh, I, I think I've located the missing girl. These two police officers seem to be in search of a missing girl at a park in an unknown location. When they finally find her, she seems to be playing all alone. And if you observe, there is a swing that seems to be swinging by itself. When they realize the entire situation and start making questions, she answers something chilling. And this happens. What are you doing out here? Oh, I'm playing with my friend Juliana. Juliana? Oh my goodness. Get over here now. Come with me. Mm -hmm. Why not? Come with me. Because my friend gave me the wallet. 
she loves. Okay, I'm getting out of here, dude. You can stay with the little girl. Let's go. The video ends abruptly. Now, taking into consideration the low quality video and the fact that it ends all of a sudden, I would say that this is probably fake. But I'm not too sure. What do you think? Is this girl indeed lost and playing with an imaginary friend and there's something paranormal to it? Or is it just staged? One thing that I really enjoy doing in my free time is getting out of the city and going into the woods just to listen to the birds chirping, the wind, and just being in the middle of nature is really important. And there's a lot of things that one can do when you're in the middle of the woods, like hunting, meditating, and the list goes on. Throat Kingsing is an Instagrammer and a TikToker who has been doing this overtone chanting technique in the middle of the woods and live streaming it to his fans. And if you take a look at his TikTok or Instagram, it's full of videos of him doing this wonderful technique and to be honest, he's really good at it. The thing is, Throat Kingsing is not focused on cryptids, paranormal or anything of sort. However, there's one specific video that he uploaded where he attracts a deer that seems to be somewhat hypnotized by his singing. And this is what he captured on camera on a live stream. Pretty sure he was looking for where the sound was coming from, but I stopped and started talking and now he's confused. Alright. Did you see that? During his live stream, Throat King Sing focuses on the deer in the background. This is when his camera sort of glitches, and when it focuses back, you can see what appears to be two humanoid creatures lurking in the background. The deer did not notice them, Throat King Sing did not notice them, but the camera captured it. Now, whatever these things are, if they're cryptids or not, it seems that the deer is not scared by them or anything like that, which makes this all very strange. Now internet users are divided between is this fake or staged or is this the real deal and is Throat King Sing actually drawing the attention of cryptids or entities while doing this overtone chanting technique. What is your take? Is this faked for views or is it the real deal? And if so, what is it exactly that he caught on camera? Even though there are countless videos and pictures of ghosts and paranormal, it's still not exactly accepted by the scientific community. However, what's curious is that if you sit down with friends, family, your uncles, your grandma, your grandpa, they'll probably share stories of things that they won't know exactly how to explain. A ghost, a shadow figure, sometimes a disturbing dream of some sort of presence inside the room. These kind of things are shared by a lot of people and what's peculiar is that it's very similar. It's as if there is indeed something out there that we can't see with our physical eyes. Now taking all of that into consideration, sometimes urban explorers catch something on camera without any intentions of doing so. Sometimes they're exploring an abandoned place, a very old abandoned place and by chance they catch something that's not supposed to be there. There's no one there, but there it is. And this is sort of what happened with Realm Explorer YouTube channel last week when they went to explore an old mansion that was built in the 1900s that later turned into a nursing home. The mansion was originally built in 1909 by Isaac Newton Spiegelberg, and the estate included a 49-room Tudor-style mansion and 20 acres of extensively landscaped land. Later at some point, the house was sold and a nursing home set up shop in the old Tudor mansion. And a couple of decades after that, there was a fire that started in the garage and the house was abandoned. Nowadays, the mansion is surrounded by chain link fence and is completely unoccupied. On April 2021, Riam Explore decided to do an urban exploration inside the property. And after uploading the exploration to YouTube, a subscriber of his noticed something strange. This is what happened. The tile you were doing was initially, but you was probably mostly stone. That's wild. 
Okay. Secret passage? Yeah. Right to where that door was? Yeah, right here. Oh, that's Ooh. exactly where we're going. Oh, pumpkin oh, hanging. Elevator? Yep. See the safe? Oh, this place has an elevator. That's... Once again, another cutout. The cement room that they just encased a frame of a safe in, which is pretty ingenious. Oh. Yeah, I just tripping over myself. Empty. This paper is 2006. Chris and his team calmly explore the first floor of this abandoned and wrecked mansion. The place is huge and has a very ominous feeling to it. It's when they go to the second floor that they find a very strange piece of old newspaper and right after that something really bizarre happens. This is what they caught on camera. Did you see it? What appears to be two shadow figures are lurking in the dark, one to the left and one in the end of the hallway, and Chris was able to capture it on camera. Now at first I thought that this was just an illusion or a shadow caused by the flashlight itself. However, Chris pans the camera around a second time and nothing happens, there is no illusion, no shadow produced by the flashlight. So in this case I believe this is the real deal. Now Chris did not see this at the time with his naked eye, but I believe he felt something and this is why he pans the camera a second time and gets the heck out of there as fast as possible. You can see that he does not go on alone and explore these places. The thing is, if you do not know what a shadow person is, it's an entity believed to be a moving patch of shadow that in other places like Saudi Arabia it is called a jinn or in the western world it's called a demon. It's something that if you believe in the paranormal or the supernatural, you do not want to mess with. There are a couple of videos out there that may actually prove the existence of such an entity, but to this day, it's considered a myth, just a story. A story that many people tell out there that they have seen something like this before. Dogs are ready for bed. It's just a peaceful night here. Yeah, ready to go to bed myself. What the f is that? What? Oh! God. In this case, what do you think is going on here? Is this just an illusion caused by the flashlight, or is it something else? Maybe a person hiding in the house, or is it indeed a shadow person? Now, talking about creepy things in the woods. A man in Brazil was walking with his dog in an undisclosed location. This is when he started hearing strange noises coming from not so far away. He started searching around for these strange sounds and he caught something chilling on camera. Porém, eu não tô conseguindo ouvir ainda, mas ele tá bem baixinho. Acho que não vai dar para passar para vocês no vídeo. 
vou aproximar aqui para vocês ouvirem. O som sai de dentro da pedra. Aí, eu tenho hora que para. Muito estranho, pessoal. Vou ter que sair daqui. Aqui é um local que tem bastante quartos. Vou mostrar para vocês. Um local de bastante quartos. E é uma pedra grande. Muito estranho. Unfortunately, I do not know the original source of this video, neither the exact location of where this was recorded. But this is indeed a very strange phenomenon. Have you ever seen anything like this yourself and what do you think is really going on here? Moving from one house to another can be something stressful, mainly if you are going to renovate it. Now it is certainly interesting to check, at least, the history behind certain houses. For instance, if you're moving to a very old house, it's nice to find out if it was a nursing home, if it was an insane asylum and things of sort. A couple of months ago, Ben and Georgia created a TikTok account to upload videos of a project that they had to renovate a house that they bought on an auction in 2020. In this case, a very old house. A house that was built in the 1920s. They were looking for a big house to do this renovating project, and they found one. The thing is that they certainly did not check the background story to this house, and well, this is when things started to get creepy. It all started when they found a hidden room during renovation. Curious like most people, they managed to get inside. The room was empty. However, when they looked up, they saw a bag hanging from the ceiling. When they opened the bag, a very old book was inside. And paying close attention to the video, you can see that when they open the book, there are many letters inside and pages that have been ripped apart. According to GBTV, they felt something strange in the house and they heard noises coming from the attic. So one day they decided to check it out even though they hadn't finished working on the first floor. You can see in the very beginning in the first videos that the couple seems very happy about the project about the house itself, there's not much to it. However, it's when they find this attic and the things inside that things start to slowly change. On their first visit to the attic, they find a suitcase and a strange piece of clothing. Well, this is what happens next. What they found inside left them completely baffled. It appears that there was some sort of a burned statue. And inside another box, which they thought was another book, was actually a wooden cross. Now this is when it first crossed their minds. Maybe this house was used by some sort of cult or maybe for rituals. But still they had hope that this was just a coincidence. Taking into consideration that the items that they found were very strange and disturbing, Ben and Georgia continued on searching for other things in the attic. They found an old picture of what appears to be the family that maybe lived in this house. A box containing what appears to be old replacements for lamp switches and things like that. Another box that was locked up. and a mirror. Supposedly there was nothing strange about these objects except for the fact that the box that was locked up 
had a pentagram carved on its side and strange writings that I'm not too sure what they mean. The thing is, when they moved the mirror from one side to the other, it rattled. As if there was some sort of object inside it, a metallic object. After days of curiosity, they then decided to break the mirror apart, and they found an object inside of it, what appears to be a key. Now of course, taking into consideration that they had a box that was locked, the first thing they did was try to open it up, and well, it worked, and here's what was inside. What appears to be a burnt piece of Ouija board, a necklace, another key, and, well, hair. Now this is the part where things get too strange, in my opinion. Why are Ben and Georgia still living inside of this house? Why are they not moving out? If I were them, this is definitely a sign for me to leave. The other thing is, it's too much of a coincidence. Maybe this is all fake, maybe this is all planned. However, if you stop to think about it, there are hundreds if not thousands of strange stories about abandoned old houses, nursing homes, insane asylums and the list goes on. Mysterious things that actually occurred in these places, things that had absolutely no explanation. Actually one incident, we were actually right here on the porch, unloading chairs one night, about 12.30 at night, and we actually had a song come on the radio. My sister was here with me, we were unloading chairs, and she said, Rick, the radio went on in the car. Of course, pictures of full bodies looking out the windows and full faces looking out the windows at us. So maybe this is the case with Ben and Georgia. Maybe they came across an old house that was used for some sort of ritual. Now Ben and Georgia continued on with their lives, renovating the house, and one day they were renovating a room and found out that black ashes were falling from one of the ceiling. Ben and Georgia continued on renovating the house for a few more days. This is when they started renovating the floor and under the floorboards they found another box. This one however was covered in wax. Curious, Ben and Georgia opened the box. But this time they were not able to open it with the key that they found. Ben had to open it up with power tools. And well, this is what they found inside. A Ouija board and strange writing on the box. And the following days, they found a letter in the chimney. The letter came along with two old British coins. Now it seems that this letter was written with old tie, and Ben did what anyone would do. Curious, he sent an email to many of his friends who maybe could translate tie, and at some point, he got an answer from one of his friends, and this is what he replied. He says that the tie that is used in the letter is slightly different to modern writing, and that they can't make it all out, but it says in short that the trinket box that was acquired a few years back at the CM market should never have left the boat. Now take into consideration that probably this letter was written in the 1920s. The letter also mentions family curse or confusion of the wrong item, and that the person insists the box is destroyed. The letter also references an address in Bangkok and talks about a postcard. The letter finishes with, we apologize for everything and if you ever return to see him, come find me. For now, Ben and Georgia are still renovating the house and I'm not too sure exactly how this story is going to end. The thing is, internet users are divided. Is this staged? Is this fake? Or is it the real deal? I myself am not too sure. What is your take? Well, this is it for now, but we do have more videos. Don't forget to check them out. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. I'll see you guys again.